Shook it up. Good morning. Good morning, Bales. Good morning, lovely people. It is the 29th of January. We're nearly through one month, which is 2019. Where is it gone? Where's it gone? My hair is like a cockatoo because I'm growing out and fringe again. I'll probably get it cut in again, grow it out again, grow it, cut it in again. Because that's what you do with a fringe, they get frustrating. So I've been up since 7, it's about 8.30 now. I have to wash and blow dry the hair and that's a bit of a task. So up early, let the dogs out. We are going to walk them, feed them and then I am hitting Pilates. And then I'm going to hit the gym and that's my morning. Welcome to a full day in the life, a full day of eating with me, Lainey. Welcome to my channel. So every morning I have collagen in my coffee. This is a decaf coffee first thing in the morning. And then I take oh, my vitamins and I'm after dropping my zinc. So I take zinc, DIM, D-I-M, it's an estrogen binder selenium and folic acid so folic acid I have been taking since I was pregnant about um, how many months ago was that now four months ago and because I'm of childbearing age and I'm not currently taking any contraception and um, I continue to take folic acid because it's good to build it up in your system if you are thinking of getting pregnant or trying to get pregnant anytime soon I currently have my period so I'm obviously not pregnant and we are not trying to get pregnant right now but we are using more natural forms of contraception so we start the day with coffee and I'm going to have it I'm going to add in a little bit of coconut milk a lot of you have advised that I cut back on the amount of dairy I take in and honestly I don't really take in that much dairy anyway so I like this one it's the coconut professionals one you can't get it in supermarkets I got it on Amazon just to make myself my frothy coffees but right now I'm just having just a little drop in my coffee and um, I try to get through about two to three litres of water a day. I also drink sparkling water and I do buy the Evian bottles because you can squish them down and recycle them and because I like the taste of it and it encourages me to drink more water if I like the taste of something. And then I'm going to have one of my carrot cake muffins. I usually make a batch of these or a batch of some of my muffins once or twice a week, keep them in the fridge and then they're just handy for me for the morning to get something into me before I go out and about because I'll go walk the dogs now and then I'll be out at the gym and Pilates probably for about three hours. So this will keep me going until I have a proper breakfast later on. I've had my breakfast, well my mini breakfast as I like to call it, and I'm now out walking the dogs, get them some exercise because obviously they'll be on their own in the house so I like to kind of wear them out before I go out and about. I walk them twice a day usually after their meals and it encourages them to poop outside. So we are on our little dog walk out in the Shropshire countryside. It's a little bit nippy but it is due to snow here. We haven't gotten any proper snow yet. So there was a little bit of a flurry last week. So as I said, I've got my period. I had the miscarriage two months ago and oh baby's pooping so as you all know i had a miscarriage two months ago and since then i had one period and um, the reason i'm talking about periods is because i've got my period right now and a lot of you girls have probably gone through similar or maybe you're experiencing it right now but it takes a while for your cycles get back to normal so normally it should be like 28 days but it was like 32 day cycle so today got my period it doesn't feel any different to any regular period to be honest i thought it might be a bit worse for the first couple of months but it's not but i was extremely bloated the last couple of days and um today my tummy's a little bit flatter so there's always that ah sense of relief when you get your period because you're just your tummy just looks like a balloon has been inflated inside you 
So I've got the, my hand's getting cold. Oh, I have flatter tummy today. My weight has dropped today. This is all very normal. Um, you will have weight gain prior to your period. You'll have water retention. And uh, yeah, there's nothing to be worried about. But as well, I also get a lot of cravings coming up to my period. I feel like I could eat all the carbs. And to be honest, last week, I ate a lot of the carbs because I was craving them. There's a nice tractor. Now we get to burn off all the carbs that I consumed last week. Cheerios were my carb of choice last week. I do love cereal and cereal is probably one of my downfalls. So I've just finished my Pilates class at the rural space. It's a bit rainy out now. And honestly, it was so hard. I talked to Vicky who runs the rural space and owns it and she was the one taking the class and she is very, very tough. So I'm in there with a range of ages of people. So girls my age up to women probably well-preserved 70s and oh my god they can keep up with me and it just shows that fitness isn't just for young people or for like teenagers or people in their 20s it's for everyone and I was struggling on exercises where the older women were quite comfortable doing them so don't underestimate what you're capable of at any age and now because I actually felt a bit pukey it was that difficult I feel like a little bit nauseous so it's probably because I've got the old period and that kind of makes me feel a bit bleh. so um, I'm gonna go and grab a coffee before I hit the gym because like I worked everything it was a full body workout and I meant to be going now and doing glutes and shoulders and I ache all over so in a way I feel like Pilates is a great warm-up it like increases my flexibility and um, stabilizes everything and it really works on your core strength and I brought Lex to a class recently and um, it will be going up on his channel in the next couple of weeks so watch out for that because he struggled and I'm not saying I'm amazing at it but I've built it up over the years and I have built quite a good core strength and good stabilization but I still have a lot to work on believe me and it is something that you can work on and it's something that goes really well alongside bodybuilding and a lot of other uh, sports so if you're a cycler or you like swimming tennis anything pilates really complements it and really will help enhance all of your training i'm gonna go now grab a starbucks because it's on the way it's not my preference for coffee but it's on the way so i'll get a starbucks and then we'll see you in the gym so i've arrived at the gym post caffeine infusion today i'm going to do a glute and shoulder workout as i said i'm quite warmed up i'm quite loosened out i had a really good workout at pilates so today my glute focus i will be using some bands that i got on amazon and some ankle straps that i've also bought up amazon you can get them from anywhere there's loads of people selling them but shop around do a google search click the shopping button then filter it in price order and come on guys you don't have to spend a fortune it doesn't have to have an influencer's name on it for you to want to purchase it just get some bands there's loads of good ones out there if you want to support an influencer who is selling the certain bands or selling some equipment that is going to enhance your workout having that influencer's name on a product isn't going to make the product any better it just means that you're supporting them and i've got an eyelash under my eye nope it's just wrinkles so i just purchased these on amazon that's my go-to amazon ebay i get a lot of stuff online to shop around and you do get things quite cheap i've been procrastinating because i want to kind of like the pain in my legs to ease a little bit before i face into this workout let's get it done seven six five four three two one you'll never have the sacred stone <laughs> oh this you crazy mother
from the gym to these gorgeous little creatures. Bailey, what are you doing? You clean your paws, are they very dirty? So it is time for a late breakfast. I have my early little mini breakfast and I have my late breakfast. So I've got some toast on. I'm using some of this Live Life half carb bread. It's really nice because it's like full of greens and stuff. And per slice, it is 2.4 grams of fat and 3.8 grams of carbs, 6.7 grams of protein. Loads of protein in there. So this I get on Ocado and I've been using Ocado occasionally just for some like more unusual products like purple sweet potatoes, things like that. And this is one of the products I get. And I just stick it in the freezer because we just eat those toast. Then I've got 50 grams of happy egg whites because they're happy eggs. Um, one egg and then I added in 15 grams of Eat Lean cheese and I'm just gonna scramble that up now. And then I've got three pieces of bacon medallions and I'm gonna have that with my toast, with a little bit of ketchup on, and that's breakfast. So here we have my cheesy eggs and bacon with ketchup, low carb sandwich. Yummy! So today I have had a decaf collagen coffee, I had a flat white at Starbucks, and now I am having a fully caffeinated fatty coffee. So I have 10 grams of the double cream in my coffee, a little squirt of the sweetener, and this is gonna go down the hatch. I love you, I love you. So I have my hair tied up because I am going to do a little bit of at home cardio on my stepper with Coltroxy and Coach Bailey. I haven't been doing cardio the last couple of weeks. I've just slacked off on it really, it happens. But I'm setting myself the goal of doing three 200 calorie cardio sessions for this week and see how I get on. It's not a lot, but those 200 calories add up to 600 calories over the week and that hopefully will shed a little bit of body fat. I'm actually quite comfortable in my body right now, but I'm not comfortable in my clothes and you know when you get to that point where your jeans are a little bit tight and you get to the end of the day and all you can think about is taking off those jeans that's what I don't want I want to feel comfortable in my clothes even though I look in the mirror and I think yeah my body looks good I just want to drop a little bit a little bit of weight simply so I feel more comfortable in my clothes because there's no way in hell I'm gonna go out and buy new clothes simply to facilitate the fact that I've been slacking off my cardio and eating Cheerios all day. Let's just look at it this way. I'm happy with my body, I'm happy with my food, but I'm just gonna add in a little bit of cardio so that I'm happy in my clothes and not constantly naked. I know a lot of you might actually relish the idea of me walking around naked, but my neighbors and the general public probably don't. So let's get some cardio done. So cardio is complete and now I'm going to have a little bit of lunch. I've got a wrap under the grill, just grilling away, hoping it's not going to burn. And I'll show you it now. So I have wrapped a heck chicken burger in one of the carb zone low carb wraps. It's one of the small ones. And then I've added in a slice of low fat cheese and some jalapenos and a little bit of low fat mayo. I'm going to have my spot of lunch now and then I'm going to bear the elements outside with my friend and her little doggy, Frankie, for a doggy walk. Just getting ready to bring the dogs on the walk and I received a delivery. Yes, Ethelene. So they sent me through a selection of their cheeses. I'm yet to try this one, the tasty one, which is higher in fat, which is good for me and Lex right now. And then we have little snack bars, which are really handy just to take out and about. We've got the grated cheese, which you see me using all the time. And then the smoked cheese. Uh, excuse me, Bailey. I'm trying to make a video here. And we've got the regular cheese, a big block of the regular cheese, the spready cheese, and these. I've tried all these before, and I love them. They're kind of like a parmesan, and they add loads of flavour to your food. And you can see here, you can get it from Asda, you can get it from Muscle Food, both two of my favourites. And like they even give you a free little recipe. So I'll be using up that in some of my recipes coming up. 
one of them tonight I'm gonna be using it in my dinner so stay tuned for that one who's in there Whoa. Bailey who's in there <gasps> I have Frankie <laughs> puppy play days so Frankie has gone home and the dog wrestling has ceased. I had a cup of coffee with 50 ml of coconut milk. So that is where I'm at with my food today. I'm probably going to have dinner in about an hour and I'll show you that and then that's me done for the day obviously I got all my cardio in right, right now I am on 12,600 steps so that's plenty of steps I've done my two dog walks and my cardio which is my usual stepping for the day don't forget about your simple foods an apple staves up hunger Mm. So it is dinner time and I've whipped up something delicious that I will share on my recipe channel very soon. Just comment down below if you want to see my loaded butternut squash nachos. Oh yeah, they're super low in carb, high in protein, high in flavour. Got the jalapenos, we've got some salsa, we've got some Greek yogurt. You can see the meat underneath and underneath there we have some butternut squaffles which are the low carb alternative. My mouth is literally watering to get into this. Yum. Final meal of the day and it's what I like to call yogurt surprise. So I've got one of the Kavarg. I'm not sure. Am I pronouncing this right? Kavarg. I feel like there's a silent letter in there somewhere. Kavarg vanilla and we have it topped with some granola, some sucre and gold syrup and some almond coconut butter. And that's it. That's my food. That's my full day of eating. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tune in next time for my next video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. And of course, comment down below because I love to hear feedback from you guys. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, fly them all to Paris, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would cloudy, and we would dance, and we would throw up our damn hands until they turned to clouds. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.